Hello, everybody. Welcome here on the Thunder Report. I'm Jason Mouse. I'm joined with head coach Bruce Ramsey. Coach, hope everything's going well as we get ready for our second game of the year. Yeah, you know what? I had a great practice today. Uh, players are enthusiastic and trying to get themselves in game shape. I'm really excited. Obviously, we've been practicing for a couple of weeks now, so they're thrilled with this opportunity to have a game here on Saturday night, and uh, you know we're looking forward to it, too. How tough was it for you going into that first game with just a couple of days of training camp? Well, it was interesting. Um, you know, the next day I released, I think, five or six players. So obviously I wasn't going into that game with my strongest lineup, but I felt that after three days of training camp, I really wanted to give, uh, you know, the kids an opportunity other than two practices and then release to, you know, get in a game situation to show what you can do. Obviously that's why we have exhibition games. So, during training camp, you can make decisions on based on, you know, obviously what they do in practice, but not just practice and what they can accomplish in a game. Some players are great practice players, but it, it goes downhill when they get into that competitive environment of a, an actual game. So uh, it was a regular, regular season game. So it was a little nervous, but, uh, you know, the boys went out there and executed our systems extremely well, battled really hard, and uh, it was really exciting to get that 3-2 victory in a shootout. Why don't we talk about that just a little bit? You guys jumped out to a 2 nothing lead in that game. Did you like what you saw in that second period? Yes, I thought the first period we started a little on our heels, but you know what? Uh, they've been practicing for a couple weeks and uh, were probably a little bit ahead of us in, in game shape readiness. But um, I thought the second period we came out and uh, played really well. We hit a couple posts, had some great scoring chances. Um, you know, the score could have been a little higher even. And uh, when we needed good saves, uh, you know, Mitch Gillen was there for us, stopped a couple breakaways. That was huge for us. And uh, a full almost two-minute five-on-three against in the third period, which where he was outstanding. And the boys did a great job killing penalties. Uh, didn't really like the goals we gave up. Made a couple mistakes that cost us. But, you know, overall for our first game of the year with, uh, you know, a, brand, a pretty new lineup, um, you know, I was ecstatic to get the victory. Now, how much do you take out of that game knowing that you, you had to make some changes with – I think you said you let five players go or who were in the lineup that night. Yeah. You know what? We, we um, obviously we uh, reached an agreement with the Toronto Maple Leafs to have players sent down here. So we have four very good young hockey players that, you know, are, are going to come in and, you know, make our team even better. Stefan Fournier didn't play that night. Bo Starrett didn't play that night. Riley Wislowski, um, you know, the list kind of goes on. So, uh, you know, we're going to have a lot of new players opening not opening night, but our uh, on New Year's Eve game in Kansas City. And, uh, you know, I expect to have a better and more quality team on the ice when we play that game. Visiting with you about the, the kids from Toronto, can you talk about what you've seen so far from them in practice? Uh, all positive. Um, we'll start with Noel Hofemeyer. He's a young defenseman out of the OHL that was a CHL defenseman of the year last year. So he comes here with some very high qualities and credentials and, uh, you can just see on the ice that he's he's got elite offensive skills. Um, he's still young, and you know uh, there's probably still a few things to work kinks to work out. It's it's a big jump going from major junior playing against you know 16, 17, 18 year olds to the East Coast Hockey League um, to playing against men. So it's it is going to be a big jump, and I'm sure there's going to be a learning curve. But um, he's very enthusiastic, wants to learn, and um, like I said, he's got elite offensive skills. Um, you know, we talked about Bobby McMahon, Jerry McKenna, and Gordy Green. Uh, two of those guys, Gordy Green and, and Bobby McCann, were captains at their Division One universities. A little older, um, and then Jerry McKenna comes in after a prolific career um, in the Quebec Major Junior Hockey League, where you know he he had some outstanding numbers, and you can just see him practice. They, um, you know, they work hard. They're motivated. You know, you know they want to play in the American Hockey League, but they know they have to start here and do well um, in the ECHL. So, um, you know, we welcome welcome them with uh, with open arms, and you know, they go out there and they've worked really hard in practice, and have all shown a lot of great characteristics that are going to make our team a much better hockey club. Head coach Bruce Ramsey joining us. Coach, you've got Christmas coming up and, and then you play the day after. So how do you approach the rest of this week getting ready for Kansas City? Yeah, um, we're, we're going to give the boys Christmas Day off. We're going to practice Christmas Eve. But um, I think Christmas Day obviously is a special day. And, you know, these guys have been on the ice a lot. So it uh, wouldn't hurt them to have a day. We'll pregame skate Saturday morning. And then obviously I got more players than I'm allowed to have in our lineup. So I got to make some decisions on who's going to play and who's not, but, um, you know, overall, 
um, we'll be ready to go. The guys uh, definitely are biting at the bit to play in a game situation. The practice is, is great. They've worked hard at it, but at practice after practice uh, gets a little old and, you know, you want to play hockey games and, you know, we obviously have a good stretch of games coming up here. So we're really excited to, uh, you know, get back into that pattern. Last question for you. You brought in Evan Weninger uh, making a couple of changes to the to the roster. Uh, can you elaborate on, on what you have seen from him in the past and, and why you made that move? Well, Evan uh, did a great job for us last year when he came in. Uh, you know, we obviously uh, Edmonton had some issues with um, some injuries with goaltending. So at some points we had three, we had two. Uh, but, you know, every time I put Evan in the lineup and he played, um, he did well. He ended up with some really good numbers for us. Went to Norway at the end of the year last year, played five games, and I think he ended up with a 9.24% save percentage in, in a European league, which is hard to do with the bigger ice surface. And he uh, was just a great quality character kid that, um, you know, uh, I'm, when I knew that he was available and he was close by, it was a no-brainer for me to bring him in and uh, reunite that tandem with Mitch Gillum and Evan Weniger, who are two close friends as well. Thanks so much. Good luck uh, the rest of the week, and we'll talk to you on Saturday and get, as we get ready for the game, okay? All right. Thanks, Jason. Look forward to seeing everybody on opening night. All right. Merry Christmas to you and your family, and we'll talk to you again soon. All right. Take care, Molson. Bye-bye. We'll uh, take a, another opportunity to thank all of our Thunder fans. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Stay safe. We'll see you on opening night. Until then, that's the Thunder Report.